Hey everyone, it's Jordan and welcome to my life. Now one of the most common things that people ask when they first get the betas is what to do when they stop eating. And there are two reasons mainly why betas stop eating. One of that is because they are stressed normally when people first get them. And the second one is that they simply don't like their food. Now I know a lot of people are like, oh well they're just fish, they eat what they're given, but the problem is, is that, like most animals, they can still be kind of fussy, so it depends what type of food you give them. And what I'm about to do is give you guys four easy things you can do to help get your beta to start eating again. These are the main pellets that you're going to be giving your beta. They're omega-1, uh, any other pellets would work that say beta on them, and that's because that's the formula that typically betas enjoy and it is in a nice small little pellet form. Just like that, that's what it looks like. Now of course, sometimes betas just don't like those pellets. If it's just that brand, first try another brand. If they still don't like it, then they might just not like the pellet form. So there's still two types of food that you can give them that is totally okay. The first one is blood worms, and the second is just simple, normal fish flakes. Pretty much every single beta is going to love bloodworms. They make their colors super nice and bright as well, but they are a little bit more fattening, so if you can, I would try to only use these as a treat, so try using the flakes instead. And the flakes are the other one that you can try. Um, pretty much all betas can eat tropical fish flakes, just like any other fish can. Uh, just make sure that it is just like the tropical flakes because they also have goldfish flakes, sometimes cichlid flakes, all that. You don't want to do that because those are different formulas. And personally what I do is I mix in the blood worms with the tropical fish flakes and then I just use this and I kind of just mix it around, grab a couple different ones, throw it in, and then that way he always gets a little bit of variety. The other reason, like I mentioned earlier, that your beta might not be eating is simply because they're stressed. Normally this can happen when you first bring your beta home or after you do water changes and stuff just because that's a different environment and a different experience and sometimes they get a little bit nervous so they stop eating. The two main ways to fix this is aquarium salt and a heater. Now you can't really see the heater but it's that red dot in there and the heater works very very well because it keeps the water a little bit warmer and generally keeps it at a constant temperature. So. If a beta is being less active, of course their metabolism is going down a little bit and they don't really feel like eating, plus they're stressed and in cold water that just doesn't really mix well at all. So you put a heater in there which will warm up the water a little bit and it'll keep it at a nice temperature so they're not going to get stressed out about different temperature changes and typically then they'll start eating within a day or two because the water is warmer and they're a lot happier. And again, aquarium salt, I've talked about this quite a bit before, but it is a very good way to reduce stress and put this in every single time you do a water change or when you first bring your beta home and that right off the bat will make it a lot more likely that they'll continue eating. Yeah, just make sure you don't put too much in because it only comes out with water changes so you don't want it to be too concentrated. But yes, aquarium salt is awesome and it should definitely help you out. Only put a little pinch in for about a size this big which is about three gallons. That is about all. I hope this helped out. If you have any further questions or concerns just leave them in the comment section below and I'd be happy to talk about it. Uh, LeBron is really happy. I pretty much do all these steps for him and he has been eating consistently ever since I got him and he's grown quite large. So it definitely does work. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you in the next video. Bye.